Hello and welcome. I'm Zach Yuson, and this is your Noontime Wrap. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte went on another tirade against United States President Barack Obama Tuesday night, October 4. Mr. Obama, you can go to hell. You better choose purgatory. The U.S. earlier criticized extrajudicial killings in Duterte's war on drugs. Duterte's curse-laden remarks against Obama led to the U.S. president canceling a meeting with Duterte at the ASEAN summit in Laos last month. He said he will never kneel before the U.S. Never. You can do your work, stop today. During his visit to a Jewish community on the same night, Duterte said he will break up with the U.S. during his term if the criticisms continue. And if this is what happens now, I will be re- reconfiguring my, my foreign policy. Eventually, I might in my, ter- in my time, I will break up with America. I would rather go to Russia and to China. At least, uh, even if uh, we do not agree with the ideology, they have respect for the people. While explaining the war on drugs to the Jewish community, the Philippine president admitted the extent of the country's drug problem tempted him to declare martial law. There are 6,000 barangay captains doing their own thing, manufacturing Cebu. How am I supposed to deal with? Sometimes I'm tempted, really, to declare martial. The territory says he was told martial law was not feasible. But it is not feasible, they say, we're well, fine. That's why I declared a state of lawlessness. Because narco politics has entered my country. Senator Dick Gordon says he is considering filing a complaint against Senator Lila de Lima for her alleged unparliamentary behavior during the Senate hearing on extrajudicial killings Monday, October 3. Gordon says these unparliamentary acts include de Lima's supposed withholding of information about witness Edgar Matobato and her, quote, shenanigans during the hearing. If Gordon pushes through with a complaint, it will be the third ethics complaint against de Lima. He says, quote, the Senate's reputation has been sullied. You invite all these people, making them wait 13 hours, and then you'll just walk out. These are shenanigans which will destroy the reputation of the Senate. The two senators had a heated exchange Monday night. Gordon accused de Lima of material concealment for supposedly hiding the kidnapper ransom case filed against Matobato. Gordon refused to apologize to de Lima, which led to her walkout. The European Parliament endorses the landmark Paris Climate Pact. The Parliament votes overwhelmingly, 610 for, 38 against, and 31 abstentions in favor of the EU's fast-track ratification of the climate deal sealed in Paris last December. The move puts the EU on track to hand over its ratification to the United Nations on Friday. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says, quote, I look forward to the Paris Agreement entering into force as soon as possible, even in just a few days' time. The Paris Accord requires all countries to devise plans to achieve the goal of keeping the rise in temperatures within 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. And that was your Noontime Wrap. I'm Zach Yuson. Join us again at 6pm for today's top news.